Today we're going to talk about dashboards and how you can save space with Home Assistant's latest feature. This feature is called Visibility and I will show you in this video how you can leverage visibility in your dashboards. What I'm about to show you was possible to do before for the more advanced users. However, it is now so much easier for the novices. And if you're a complete Home Assistant novice, check the link in the description below for my free Home Assistant course. Let's get going. Let me show you this example I've got over here I created earlier. You can see I've got a floor selector. This can be something like an area selector or a way that you want to segment your home. And I'm putting like ground floor, first floor, second floor as an example. So ground floor at the moment, nothing's configured and you can see it completely blank. But as soon as I click on first, this light appears and then we could uh, carry on in this way. The way this is set up is that you go into the uh, visibility tab and then you can add a condition over here. So I clicked on condition and I used entity state. So the difference between numeric state and entity state is basically, are you looking for a particular number or are you looking for a particular value? An entity numeric state might be something like a temperature sensor. So if you want, if your temperature sensor is lower, perhaps than a certain number, then you might display the heating on uh, value. So if you click on entity state, you can now pick any entity that you want. You can put your equal or not equal to. Bear in mind, you can also add multiple conditions. You can also test this and also edit this in YAML. If you want to know how I created this selector, you can go to settings, scroll down to your devices and services, and you'll find helpers right at the top. Just click on create helpers and the helper type will, is called drop down. So this is where you can have like a, like a little bit of a, like a menu in your dashboard. So here you'll just fill in your, put in your name. You can uh, add an icon. So I added this floor selector icon. And then the most important part are your options down below. So your options are the values that you're going to have. So let's say we have A, B, and C and you can see over here you actually can switch switch the order around so uh, the order is quite important because it will be the order in which it appears in the menu so you want to pick a right order and you can delete with this button you can obviously create it and then you can go back once you created it you can see the en entity ID like input select over here so you can actually add it to a dashboard um, and you can use it as a condition one thing to note that the input selector does not need to be on the dashboard for this to work. Let's try and, and create another one in this tab over here. So we're going to edit again, visibility and condition. And now we can do things like screen. So I can set things like mobile, that this will only be visible on mobile. We can put tablet, desktop or wide, for example. So if I set it as mobile only, and I save it and then we go done. Then you can see this completely disappears from my um, desktop view. So I'm just gonna try and get it up on the phone now to show you if it's here. So hopefully as you can see right here, the actual button is available in this dashboard as displayed while it's not available on desktop. Let me know your ideas in the comment section down below on how you are planning to use this new visibility tab in Home Assistant. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more dashboarding videos. I'll leave you here with my dashboarding playlist. See you next one.